Hi everyone. Happy Friday. Today's art assignment is not due until next Thursday, so you have all week to work on it. We're continuing the vernal pool assignment and we're going to learn about the spotted turtle. This spotted turtle was painted by some of my friends. Um, it's missing some of its yellow spots, but that's how you can really tell that it is the true spotted turtle. They're endangered and they're found on the East Coast. That would be um, like states like New Hampshire, Massachusetts, all the way even to states like Ohio. So um, today's project, we're going to be making little miniature spotted turtles. You can make a few of them if you want to give them some friends, make them a little home, and uh, build them a habitat. So we're going to be making some paper pop-ups together. So let's go over what materials you're going to need. Paper, scissors, markers. Sound good? Okay. To create your turtle, you're going to need your thumb. You're going to be stamping your thumbprint onto a folded sheet of paper. So here's your paper. Make sure you fold it in half and take your thumb. You can color it green if you want it to be green. You can blend your colors if you want it to be more of like a dark green. You can add some black. If you want to get really interesting with your colors, go for it. Why not, right? Now's the time to experiment. With your thumb, you're going to press it at the top of your paper. Ooh, this is going to turn into your turtle shell. Okay, you can give your turtle shells lots of spots. Yellow spots, of course, because it's a yellow spotted turtle. But what's he missing? Right now he's just a shell. That's right, you need to give him a head. So to make your turtle's head, we're just going to draw a long neck and a head. Oh, this marker doesn't work. Let me try a different one. So we're going to make a long neck and so we need some legs. So we only have to make two legs. One, two and you're probably going to want a tail as well okay there's my turtle's tail <laughs> next step what do you think we have to do that's right we're going to be cutting it out make sure you have your thumb in the small hole and when you cut make sure you're pointing the direction where you want to cut okay i'm just cutting around my shape to cut out my turtle's feet, shell, and tail, okay? Now, there's one thing I have to tell you. Don't cut, do not cut the top fold because the top fold is what is going to keep your turtle together. You want your turtle to have four legs and open up like this so he can stand, see that, like little table tent? So that means you have to keep that fold connected. If you cut that, you'll get two turtles, okay? So now I have a little tiny buddy. I think I'll name him Sam. Okay, so I put Sam aside and now I would like to make a background for him. You can take your sheet of paper, fold it in half again. Let's think about this vernal pool. Down here is where we're going to put the ground, and back here is where we're going to put the background, okay? So our vernal pool has water. You're gonna choose a color that you wanna create your, your little water with. I'm gonna make mine blue. So here's my blue pond. And I'm gonna color that in in just a minute. And the vernal pool has lots of plants. So I'm going to draw lots and lots of plants, okay, maybe some bushes, maybe some grass, okay, might be some sticks or twigs or maybe even some tall trees. So a tall tree, you just do two tall lines, one, 
two. And what do you put at the top of a tree? More, you're gonna have some branches, some more branches. Okay. And you're gonna to wanna to put some leaves on it. You're going to be decorating your turtle's new home. So you make sure you put lots of rocks for those turtles to hide under and sit on top of, because I know they love sitting on rocks. And they love sitting on logs too, so make sure that you add some logs. Maybe there's a log that's fallen on the water. Okay. So I'm gonna take a minute just to quickly, uh, let's see, um, color this in, and then I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. All right, so here's my display for my new little friend, Sam the turtle, and he can really enjoy his new home. I hope you have fun making your vernal pools and make sure you show me uh, pictures of your vernal pool and your pop-up turtles. I would love to meet all of them. Okay, thanks and enjoy your weekends, everyone. Stay healthy. Bye.